Boogie, boogie, boogie beats. <laughs> hey, you gonna turn in that bounty or just loiter in my living room? Sorry, your living room for now. Oh, cool. You got yourself another talking gun? And this one's green? Wow, who cares? No one. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Be rude. My name is Gus. Not that it matters to you. Here we go. Look at you. You're getting the hang of this bounty hunter thing already. How'd the mission go? They killed a G3. Looks like I taught them well. Wow. Really? Whoa. Okay. Well, I'm impressed. <laughs> I was, I was always hoping you'd find your calling. I just I didn't think it would be bounty hunting. But then again, I don't know what I thought it would be. Maybe hairstyling and not good at it. And what's wrong with bounty hunting? Ugh, can you please tell this dried up sack of shit to go home? I don't want to share a couch with him. Tough titties, Leslie. You're kidding me, had a deal. It's Lizzie! And that's not my kid, Jesus, we're siblings. Hello everyone that's watching, it's Boogie Beats with the Game Reviews, you already know. Today we will be reviewing High on Life, published by Squanch Games and released December 2022. High on Life is a comedic sci-fi action adventure single player first person shooter. You can pick this game up for $60 for Xbox One, Xbox One Series S and X, and PC. If you're rocking with Microsoft's Game Pass, this game will be free. This game has a Steam rating of 9 out of 10. We rated this game a solid 8 out of 10. As always, this video contains minor spoilers. Let's begin. If you're looking for next-gen graphics, this won't be your game. I still find the graphics decent enough. I find the game overall to be very interesting, and the blue talking gun's voice will be familiar for those who watch Rick and Morty. There are parts in the game where you might get lost. You start off by selecting your character's parents. Your parents are on vacation, so it's you and your sister. Then the world is attacked by an alien cartel organization that wants to get high off humanity. You and your talking guns are a human's last hope. Yeah, that's the story in a nutshell. Take down a cartel, defeat bosses, upgrade your character by buying things at the shops, use the talking knife to cut open those weird looking chests that drop money, or earn money by collecting bounties. Just fight those bosses, you, no you get multiple oh, weapons God, from I'm knives, you know the crazy knife, Kenny, the blue pistol, and the first weapon you can use, good for juggling enemies. Gus, the frog gun that shoots projectiles and useful for creating ledges for you to climb onto, and also so much more. The game's comedy is unique and keeps you engaged. The game's combat can be repetitive, but those waves of regular enemies keep you on your toes. However, the game's bosses can all be beat using the same strategies, and surprisingly, the first boss was harder than the second boss I fought. The loading screens take forever to load, which is wild. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like the frequent talking, you can switch it off in the settings in the audio section and turn it to um occasionally. Overall, I enjoyed this game and would definitely do a second playthrough of the game. That's all for this video. If you liked our content, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon to stay updated on our future content. It's Boogie Beats with the craziest reviews. I'm out. Uh, so bounty hunting, huh? Are you really going to kill people? Actually, we, we've killed a couple people already, you know? And so did you? So soon we forget? Fine, I guess I'll just hang around at home and wait for you to do all your little murders. Are you mad at us or jealous? Uh, jealous? I want to kill evil aliens too.